that bend in that rod, guys. I've been at over 300 feet out for the last five, 10 minutes. Hasn't really been coming in at all. He's feeling light. Look, he just ran, he just ran 30 feet. I'm gonna try to turn its head. Yeah, try to turn its head. Getting the kayak all strapped up to the car and we're gonna send her on over to the sturgeon hole and hopefully we can get some done. And then maybe if we can get our limit before like noon, we'll drive, we'll leave the river and we'll go drive over to a tributary and hope we catch the steelhead too. Grab me a sexy sand shrimp. Don't take off your bait, just add more to it. Just gonna thread it on up my hook. Come out at the head. Just like that, and then throw some stretchy string on him. up the tail of the sand shrimp. Alrighty. Alright. Zero at the line counter. Alright, we'll give it a little bit of nice rocking action. Right there. Cast out as far as you can. Open the bail, keep the bail open, let it drop to your feel bottom. It's pretty deep here, so it's gonna be a good amount. You're just gonna feel a thud. There we go. There's bottom. Bring it back to the pull holder. Reel down. So you feel tension and just slowly drag it until you feel the lead drag so you know you're tight with your bait. There we go. I felt my bait drag. I'm tight with it. There we go. Now we're just gonna wait for the rod to just do a little bit of a, just like that. They don't bite very hard. Kind of like a trout bite, but when you set the hook, there's more than a trout on it. 500 feet out. There. All right, we're on, out here above Bonneville trying to catch keeper sturgeon. Michael's hooked up, rod's bent. Hell yeah, bud. All right, good job, Michael. Good. He's still there. Sweet. Does it look like he's stuck? Yeah, he's stuck. Broke the fish off, the whole setup. I think the whole setup. Dang, bro. Yep, whole setup. All right. Go drop some bait. All right. 
I am getting bited at. Ooh. I think I missed him. God, he's really freaking small. I think I got a really small one on here. I think I got a small one. Yeah, it's a small guy. Get him up, get him up. Oh. oh, that work. And it just broke off. All right, just got that pull out. It's the only pull out right now because Nathan's pull got tangled and Michael's all broke off. So right now it's the only rod out. I missed him. No, he's there. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I think it came off. Oh, I got him out. There you go. Yeah, got him out. I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Difficult. Oh. I'm getting nibbled too. You wanna get it? Yeah, I'll get this one. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, he's there. Well, mine snagged. There he is. Yeah. No. No? Not a baker? Oh, shaker, yeah. Oh, he said bigger.
Nathan will just hook, hook the first one. And let Nathan reel it in. He's there. Heck yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go grab the tape measure in case it's a keeper. Oh, he's a shaker. Definite shaker right there. Hey, don't stop, 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 stop reeling. There we go. Wait, where's the camera? Right here. bigger right. holy shit, you guys this is a massive fish i've been at over 300 feet out for the last five ten minutes hasn't really been coming in at all look at the bend in that rod guys Damn. Maybe next time. Yeah, I'm a I tried. Just hold this real quick. Can you like spin out over there? But yeah. I can get it on my own. Oh, no, never mind. Well, it's a little bit too deep. I'm getting out. I got him out. I think so. Yeah, I got him out. That's a shaker for sure. Hey, okay. I got the fish out. Yeah. Is the still there? Uh, yeah, I can feel it. Is the still there? Yeah. I don't drag him on the bank like that. It's not good for the fish. Here, one second. Don't let him out, guys. Hold the pole. There he goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed getting out there, filming it, and catching all these sturgeon. And as always, follow along and fish on.